What is going on everyone? Back with another banger of a video. Today I am training back with Zach. We also are gonna hit a little bit of biceps, maybe a little bit of arms, who knows? But a little update for you guys on prep. It is our third week down, and I am currently sitting at 193.4. So we're down like 1.4 pounds or something like that from last week. Really good. Just what we like to see. Calories are now moved down a little bit, but the only thing that got subtracted from my diet really was just 100 grams of rice. So pretty much things are really the same. I'm just having a little less carb leaning down a little bit i've been uh, looking a little bit nice lately even though i'm still a little bit heavy looking really good like my leg striations are coming back like the side feathering is coming in so looking real nice while still being kind of heavy planning on getting down to like one's high 160s low 170s but you know we just got to see how I'm looking around those numbers because the lowest I've ever been was 174 I say I was probably around seven to eight percent body fat so I probably could have lost like ten more pounds um, and then been like four or five percent but I didn't really want to because I started powerlifting at the time and then I ended up bulking a little like slightly um, but now that we're competing, I get to actually, you know, cut down to there. So I'm not sure exactly what weight we're trying to hit yet, but hopefully, you know, if I'm like low 170s, that's good because that means I put on quite a bit of muscle mass since, you know, the summer. So it would be basically, it would actually be like a year about time, you know, I'm on stage. So, you know, it would be probably good. So, you know, one year transformation, 174 to maybe 174, but even leaner. That would be nice. I'm about to have my first meal, which is gonna be two eggs and a cup of egg whites. I already had a apple earlier. Um, just didn't record it though, cause my camera was charging and I wanted an apple before I ate my eggs so I got two two whole eggs and then a couple egg whites like I said but with the eggs I got some special eggs all right look I'll show you right here bam not even cold not even put away look at them a little dirty too all right you may ask why they're a little dirty and that's because my mom actually has chickens and I get eggs from her so they actually taste like so much better than eggs you buy from the store um, and I could wash them off but you know it doesn't really matter because it's not like it affects actual egg but they're like super they're so much better and like the yolk is a lot more creamier and it just tastes better so I like to use these when I can but it's like an hour drive to go to my mom's and they only have like five chickens so there's a limit to how many eggs you know them them little chicks can lay so I got a dozen I'm down to seven right now which stinks but that's gonna be good enough for you know three more days three and a half days I was you know but yeah if you can get some fresh farm eggs I would definitely recommend it because you wouldn't think they make a difference but let me tell you them boys will be good if you find a farmers market or you know a neighbor that's a farmer and got eggs or chickens get some because they're good a lot better I tell you all right let's get to cooking the eggs Got my eggs all cooked up. 
There's some hot sauce on there as well. Going to eat this meal and then honestly probably get ready for the gym. I'm meeting Zach at the gym at like 145. It's like 1230 right now. So I might eat another meal before I go. Just depends. I don't real. I'm not really hungry in the morning, which is weird. But like right after I get home, especially like after a workout, that's when I'm like my appetite is through the roof, and I literally eat like a whole bunch of food. So normally, like in the mornings, I just take it easy. I might have two meals. Most of the time, I do. Today, I don't know because we're going to the gym a little bit early. So we'll see. We'll see for sure. But. I am hungry, my stomach is like brrrr. So, I'm gonna eat these. So, in my car, about to head off to the gym. Got my pre workout and my shaker right here. Today, we just went two scoops of fruit punch mode. Not even doing no nitric today because I'm not feeling like it. I just want a lot of energy. And uh, two scoops of mode has a pretty, decent pump, a pretty decent pump blend in it anyway. So, don't really need a scoop of mode. I mean a scoop of nitric, sorry. So, I'm going to drink this. <sighs> mm, delicious. Yeah, I just pulled up to the gym. Got a few more sips left in my pre. Zach's already in there. I'm a little late. You know, what are you gonna do? But that's okay, cause Zach be late all the time. So, you know, it makes up for it. Even Steven in the end. Surprisingly though, this has been the earliest workout I am going to be getting in quite some time, so quite excited because as the day goes on, I just have lower and lower energy. Lately, I've been working out like kind of later, like five to six, even sometimes like eight or nine. Um, and I would say my optimal training time is probably like two to three, and then like a two hours in that window would be great time for you know me to lift so like five and six like it's not bad but I'm just not gonna be training that optimal you know 100% which is you know whatever but I'm happy today that I can train a little bit earlier Zach just texted me where am I at little does he know I'm in the car drinking my pre-workout if only he could see this clip right now I parked right next to him so we can walk out together but yeah I should probably hurry up because I'm like 20 minutes late Yeah, yep, there it is. It's done, the pre-workout's all gone. No, I gotta go work out. <coughs> Got my water, very warm right here. No ice in this. Pop the trunk on a. Joe has giant testicles and you know, he's gonna win this show because of it, so. We always gotta get a thumbnail because you guys aren't gonna click on our videos if we have shitty thumbnails, so. Yeah, we forget every fucking time. That's why our thumbnails are some random ass screenshot of the video. Rather than a nice picture. I be doing that all the time. I'm the CEO of having terrible thumbnails. <laughs> you on your horse? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare say that I want that I want everything to fall apart when it's hard to me Cause my only crime was hoping there is something more than this loneliness I feel But no one makes me feel less alone Fire. When two forces of nature
Maybe if we took a moment Long enough to realize how alike we are That not everything is broken Cause you know me better than anyone by far But no one makes me feel less alive Guess how many reps? How many? 40. 40 reps, damn. 40. I was gonna say, that went up forever. Yeah, yeah, that was like a, probably like a two minute clip. I was just trying to get a lot of blood in the back, break my back down, grow, get super wide, fart. All right, fools. Fool, you fool. You wanna get big biceps? Do this exact same thing and your biceps will grow five inches after this workout. Guaranteed or your money back. All right, so you wanna take the heaviest weight in the gym. I got three tons, three tons on this little barbell. For you that don't know, three tons is about 6,000 pounds. And I'm just gonna do this. And see the secret, what they don't want you to know, it's a super fast acting muscles are gonna ultra super break down immensely fast for particle retention surface properties. And uh, you know it equals the most gains for the maximum amount of ball comage. So pretty, pretty specific science these things. So I recommend you guys rewind the video, take some notes and uh, use it for your studies kids <laughs> that's another form that's really good right there for the trap and the bicep development they don't teach you that in gym class because you know they're not professionals like Joe <laughs> this is some shake waiting on
your workout family? What was it? How was your workout family? Family. It was pretty. It was pretty good. It was solid. We got a good back pump today. Uh, both Joe and I are tired, so we're gonna head home. Got like an hour ride home. Do I look like now? I look like Joe's height right from here. This is why. This is like the, the point of view. My point of view when I'm talking to Joe. So if you guys are wondering, <laughs> this is Joe. This is him asking if he's ready for a show. <laughs> back it's destroyed. Feels good to get a good back workout in. A little bicep action too. We only did one uh, bicep exercise because we were just really focusing on back. We were literally at the gym for like three hours. Yeah, a little bit over three hours. So really long time and I'm very hungry. So we need to get home, get me some meals cooked and uh, fuel up. Man, look at those boigas right there. That's some boigas if I ever seen them. So about to cook meal number four. I had meal number three. I ate it, my camera was dead, so I didn't record it. I just had some ground beef and then some macaroni noodles with that, and then I threw a little bit of cheese on there. Um, you know, kind of like a mac and cheese, kind of like a, you know, like a hamburger helper, basically. But I had some ground turkey in there. Now we're going to some ground beef. I haven't had ground beef in quite some time because I've been having ground turkey and I just never really bought beef because we've had like a tons of ground turkey like 10 pounds of like individual one pound packs so keep most of them in the freezer and just unthaw them when we need them so as you see we got our million dollar grill here excellent grill all right this grill's humongous size of a house practically all right Best thing ever. Look right here, we got the burgers. Man, look at that. Beautiful patty. Listen. Nice. Another one. Another one. Another one. And a big dog. Boom. Five burgers on the grill. Talk about that. What you know about it. Man, and then, I'm gonna do with this. Close the top on them. Don't worry about them, let them cook for a little bit, you know? They need time to warm up, go through a, a you know, a change from being uncooked to cooked. You know, it's quite crazy how it happens, but you know, it does. Metamorphosis, one you say. You could say that, yes. You hear that? Uh, I w yeah, so burgers are sounding real nice right there, okay? Yeah. Actually, super excited for these. No buns though, all right? We don't do buns around here, so. And we don't have any. Man, look at them goats! Ah! Here it is, here's my meal. Got 300 grams rice, 200 grams of the ground beef, and then I got little cherry tomatoes in there. Make it look a little nice, like. Man, let me tell you what, if that don't, if you don't think that looks good, you smoke your crack, for real. I think I'm going to throw some yellow mustard on there as well. <clears throat> Just a little bit, give it a little bit more flavor, maybe some hot sauce, maybe not. I might just eat it plain, I just got to see how it's going to be. But, I'm going to eat this up and then I'll let y'all know how it was. Just finished my food. Overall, it was pretty good. I low-key overcooked the burgers, so they were kind of like fully cooked, um, so they weren't very juicy. They were kind of like hard, so that was a little unfortunate. But, you know, I just cut it up, and overall, it wasn't too bad. You know, the little tomatoes in there gave it a little bit of, you know, refreshing flavor, tomato flavor. You know, I just love cherry tomatoes. They're so nice and super low in calories too. A whole cup is only like 25 calories so super 
low calories and they you know they add a little bit of flavor to your meal that sometimes you really do need because definitely if it was just the burgers and the rice it'd be super boring just adding the little tomatoes made it a lot better and a whole bunch more enjoyable that's for sure so I am going to wrap the video up here if you guys enjoyed it please smash the like button comment something down below whatever your heart may desire thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next one peace